Hi, welcome back to World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today in the shop, I've got a RT524 vehicle radio. This is a receiver transmitter, and it's uh, usually uh, mounted in M151 Jeeps or Humvees or even heavy armor. This, uh, this unit is mounted on a, uh, on a bracket, which is the MT1029. This, this bracket is, is bolted inside the vehicle dash or some other location. And then the, the radio can be easily pulled in and out as needed. The radio itself transmits between 30 megahertz and 74.95 megahertz in 50 kilohertz increments. It's manually tuned and you can tune up to 920 different channels. It's compatible with the Prick 77 or Prick 25 and, and other radios of the uh, Vietnam era and later. It has a built-in loudspeaker that uh, kind of sets this one apart. Um, and uh, in addition to that, it has two power modes. You can transmit on low power and on high power. Low power is about an eight watt RF power output. High power is spec'd at 35 watts. The, um, the RT524, it, being a vehicle radio, is powered off of a typical 24 volt military vehicle power. So it hooks up to a junction box uh, where your uh, vehicle power is cleanly delivered to the system through the mount. And I guess the last thing to mention is uh, about the squelch. It has uh, two different squelch functions. One is called the old squelch, and this is just, uh, you know, it cuts out any noise unless a signal is received that's greater than 0.5 microvolts of RF power. <clears throat> um, the new squelch, which the Prick 77s uh, also have, um, silences the the audio output unless a signal with a 150 hertz tone is received and that's the new squelch so if you have that on you're not getting bugged by a bunch of white noise if nobody's talking but if it receives somebody who has a, a compatible system with the 150 hertz tone um, then it will it will turn on and you can hear the voice transmission so anyway, a uh, quick video, just sort of a walkthrough of the RT524, um, you know, uh, uses all the standard handset equipment. Uh, this one just got a little microphone. And other than that, uh, pretty cool. These things are, are uh, really neat to have, especially if you're um, tooling out your military vehicle. And uh, getting, uh, getting an RT524 really makes a complete system. And uh, I think they're a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something. And if you, uh, you want to see more videos like this, just subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and we'll keep bringing you more. See you next time.